My enemies are many. My equals are none. Welcome back to part 31 of my France Let's Play for Napoleon Total War with Darth Mod. So, picking things up, we left them last time, just going through the end turn phase. And then when we get to our next turn, we shall hopefully see the end of Prussia at last. They've got two settlements remaining, got no proper armies still standing, so we should just be able to walk on through and take their remaining regions. As always, thanks for your comments, advice, tactics, and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming, as well as those unit name suggestions for our various armies. Probably aim to get the next round of names in early next week. Uh, but for now, finish off the Prussians. I think I'll probably also look to finish off the Austrians now as well, and then we can gather our strength and look to march on Russia. Although... I am potentially willing to delay my ra my my march. I am potentially um, willing to delay my march on Russia for a little while because quite a lot of you have commented saying, Lionheart, would you consider just blasting through a load of turns to get through more research so you can get to your top tier tech and thereby unlock your best possible troops that you can recruit uh, so that we can have, you know, the most powerful imperial french armies out and in action by the end of this campaign and i agree it'd be shame to not unleash the full might of france um at its height of power here in this campaign so i'm thinking we'll kind of look to leave russia as the final foe to throw our full strength at so i don't just want to sit and blast through turns necessarily i'd like to still kind of achieve some things so while we're not necessarily looking to go for full map conquest let's let's take out the Ottomans. let's aim to take out the ottomans because if we're going to drive down here to take out the austrians with some forces let's carry on through and take out the ottomans because and we will we'll, we'll use the rationale behind that is that it gives us a much more secure position to then march into russia now the reason why we're not going to go straight into russia right now as well is because we are in late december we're in winter and we all know what happens when you march on russia in the winter you have a terrible holiday um so we're not going to do that. I'm also thinking maybe, just maybe for the lols, we'll turn on Spain as well. Or maybe we will sort of blood our new recruits, our new troops by conquering Spain. And again, the rationale for that could be that while we have a supportive government installed in Spain, um, the guerrillas and the individual commanders of Spain's armies, um, while they act loyal, outwardly, inwardly, they are very much only interested in um in spain's own interests and not of the mighty french empire so maybe we'll do that we could also take out portugal as well so there's kind of a few bits we could do i mean it, it could well be that we actually me saying oh yeah we're not gonna turn it into full map conquest we could end up picking off a load of other factions while we wait for this tech um but weigh in let me know your thoughts in this episode's comment section and probably in next one so like this week's episodes let me know what you think on that plan um if you'd rather we just push straight home to victory, if, if I see a lot of conflicting comments, then maybe we'll end up having a poll at some point. But I think largely you guys probably say you want to see the, the best troops possible out. Um, I think probably at um, Warsaw as well, we probably start building up there so we can get some out. It looks like um, Paris is going to be the only place we can get our, our, our absolute best troops out um, because it's the only place we've built up the barracks enough. I mean, we could, we could upgrade that one in London, but they're going to be quite a ways back from the front line. But that could then link into my plan, which I've suggested a few times, that I was going to sail some armies up and land by St. Petersburg and strike in Russia from that side. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to aim for over the next probably, what, 20 odd turns, because we'll have to go through general staff to unlock the staff college. OK, we would technically need to go through this to get all the other bits and pieces, but we may not bother doing all that. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a good few turns away. Is that telling me the total or is that? to get to them total number of turns 38 or is that just how many it'll be for that individual piece once we've got to it it's not saying you've got to go through like 13 13 there and then you'll have 12 left on this one i feel it's, it's maybe it's it's total i don't have a way of testing with anything else um we can upgrade some universities as well to speed some things up 
but we'll need dialects, which is on the next bit down, and they'll, that'll still take nine turns. So I guess we'll see. We, we've got plenty of time before our objectives run out. We've got until 1812. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe Napoleon takes his foot off the gas a little bit. Um, and yeah, we go and conquer the Ottomans. Maybe we'll, we'll have a mix of like, we'll, we'll try and blast through like four or five turns an episode. That'll get us through fairly quickly as well. Um, we do have a riot happening at uh, Brandenburg, at Berlin. There's nothing I can do. I've already exempt them from tax. So I think it would have to be building something like this for more repression. I mean, we can. Yeah, we should get that going there, to be fair. Because then we can recruit troops close to the front. Actually, upgrading that will improve happiness too. But does that add repression? No, it doesn't. That's a shame. There's, there's no more troops I can build. We've already got a full army in there plus these guys are reserved, so we're just going to have to wait for the enemies at spawning. So maybe Prussia will rise again, actually. Maybe Prussia ain't out just yet. Um, so I'm thinking, yeah, how can we knock them out in one foul swoop this turn? Well, we can march um, our army here. Bernadotte straight on through, although Mura, Mura can take Dred uh, Danzig. Here we go. The winter attrition already kicking us. We could fight these, but we fought many. Uh, we'll, do, we'll fight one of them. I think this one, though, is going to be the tougher fight, Konigsberg. We do now have the Polish Legion. They're not the most effective with, uh, with that accuracy. And I did see some more comments saying you'd love to see me try and do a battle like in a city where we have to uh, push on through with our infantry and do some flanking maneuvers and things like that. So we'll try and change the tactics up a little bit. We won't just try to play to that massive line formation all the time. We'll see what we can do march on austria because they've they've had like some several years of just chilling out thinking that every there's they're, they're safe oh how how wrong they are uh you will upgrade vienna as well because that's our kind of bastion to the south um and i could march these guys forward but the threat from the austrians never came um so i'll leave that to my armies because we'll probably split our force we'll probably leave an army at Konigsberg, an army at warsaw and then one at lemberg and one at Bucharest once we declare war on the Ottomans and take that from them. Because that will, yeah, linchpin it along there. I was trying to use this navy to see if Russia had any forces. I, I'm a little bit concerned that they've got no armies. At all here. Because sure, I, I'm, just, I'm just hoping maybe they just didn't get military access. But otherwise, what has happened to the Russian AI? Because that's quite concerning. Um, so for now, yeah, we'll just march this army into Konigsberg, the Polish Legion, sit and gather there. That's going to be the bigger, tougher battle. We'll fight one last fight against the Prussians then. In you guys go. And in fact, we could use this army to march on them there. We will be able to get more generals soon once we've upgraded our colleges and what have you. Our army colleges, that is. All right, here we go. Send you down here. I want to see what's going on. So we've got three spies going on through. As far as I can tell. You just check our agent list. Oh yeah, you're going through here as well. Cool. Yeah, so you strike that way. You dive in towards Moscow for me. You're in Madrid. You're waiting for some ships. Which are... Where'd I put them? This tab shows all fleets available for recruitment in the selected port or fleet. Their available movement. Oh, they're, they're, they're right there. I'm just blind. Pop you onto the ships. Nice. Then sail all the way up here, and then we can drop a spy up here and start spying as well. Lovely. I guess as well we could always spread our advance north and go after Denmark if we needed to. If we wanted to kill some time, they've got a fair few armies. I'd just be very surprised if Russia... I just don't know what Russia's been doing. They, they had one force supporting the Austrians very early on in the campaign, and then they disappeared. Been doing Russian things. Maybe we can get some more Italian infantry here, can't we, as well? More Italian light infantry. Yeah, let's get a few of you guys. Um, 
right, Masena, let's bring you... Yeah, you could go for that. Go on, Masena. Napoleon, I mean, I guess if I'm gonna... It's, yeah, maybe we'll send Napoleon, actually, to strike down here. But we'll probably march him towards the... Um, the Ottomans. Bernadotte, we will move you up shortly and then you can help hold along here well that's yeah mm. winter attrition they're still going to want to be within our own territory i think i don't actually know do you take attrition in your own territory in winter let's find out but yeah these guys were yeah so we still need to be in 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 uh safe uh building so we can go into that farmland um yeah bring that army back there though just we've got some more strength around berlin in case we do get a rebellion shortly everything else looks good so let's get this one order resolved 796 okay peacefully occupy oh so they still they still had a little force around but that's fine because they're on their faction will get wiped out and then we can move up bernadotte to the farmland you're actually not in attrition land just yet it's good. Good fast replenishment there. Right, let us take Connersburg and see the fall of Prussia complete. In fact, let's do a quick save here and compare what the Order Resolve would do. So, Order Resolve would kill off 2,000 of our men. Let's just skip through that. And then load back and fight it. We can definitely do better than losing 2,000. Not that we're not going to have plenty of time for them to build them up. Just in case the Russians suddenly appear with huge forces. Let's send in the Iron Marshal to break the Iron Eagle of Prussia. Here we go. Okay. Maybe. What? Oh, they, they've got them on the wall there. Interesting. And they've got the town there. Okay. We've got a lot of powerful troops here. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I, the purpose of fighting this ourselves was to play it. Well, not play it safe, but to um, secure less casualties. But maybe, just maybe, we can have some fun with some slightly more aggressive infantry tactics. Ultimately, I want to give you guys the best possible kind of show that I can. While without sacrificing, um, you know, too many of my own troops. We'll start here and look to advance with these guys on the flank, I think. have the Irish holding the centre because they're very steady. Very steady. A few there. And then we will have two Swiss. The final artillery piece with more Swiss. So if you have if you have some some tactics and strategies you'd like me to try out that isn't just pure suicide for my troops, let me know. I'll give it a go. Yeah, Davo, have you here behind the paddies? Did everyone have a good St. Patrick's Day, by the way? A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Put the pressure on their flanks from the start. Cavalry sweep out to the right. And I'm going to yeah, march up with my Swiss. Try and enter the town. Fight them for it. Well, here we're just drawing them off the wall as well. 
artillery actually having some alternative targets for once to fire on at the start. Because there's no cannon. You can hear their cavalry giving it a charge, but they've got stuck in the streets, unfortunately. Uh, every time I forget to turn off their fire at will. It's okay. Carry's going on in. What are they? Oh, they're, they're my, the Prussian variant of uh, my Chasseur de Cheval, the Tesco, Tesco Reserve, as we have called them. Charge on in. Cannon fodder. No cannons today. Lancers. I've got to pull these guys back now. Otherwise, they can't get in range of my canister shot to support. That's fine. We can pull them back. So give them a volley and then charge them, but they've already broken. One day I'll learn to turn those guys off or, or to manage them better and not fly off to the other side of the map. Sorry, Cav. We might be able to have a showdown here. Set up two columns. Send the cavalry in. In they go. Power up the paddies, some more. That's my own cavalry. Into the armed citizenry. Armed citizenry want to play over here. You guys slammed on in. Let's draw the other units around. Let's send these grenadiers up to go in as well. Punctured the center of their line nicely. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Go. How are we doing over this side? Driven straight through their line. Here they go. Trying to strike through these guys and cut them in half. Perfect. Great, because yeah, they spread out and just divide that whole unit. Cohesion's completely lost. I don't think the AI actually knows how to deal with it once their force gets split like that as well. Obviously, there's slight danger of getting flanked, but... You got enough strength in that center to blast and break through then happy days i think we should send forward the uh, irish to annihilate the enemy center there
Just you need to square. Settlement battle, so we don't need to actually finish them all off. Put the cavalry back. Go the French Irish Legion and the and the uh, Iron Irish. See him off. Square. Nice. That's got to be it, surely, apart from the general over here. He's now going to meet a wall of shot. Beautiful. Bye-bye. Job done. And with that, the fall of Prussia is complete. So the order resolve killed off 2,000 of our force. We lost 514 this time. The conquest of Konigsberg. The last bastion of Prussian nationalism is now firmly under French control and all vestiges of resistance against your visionary ambition crushed. Desperate for mercy, the Prussian remnants have sued for peace and offered us considerable indemnities for their recent defiance of French authority. You're one step closer to uniting Europe under a single French banner. Peacefully occupy. Job done. Little sound bug. Goodbye, Prussia. The Iron Eagle has fallen. Now to find out where those Russians are. Right, that's what we can do there. So why was it? It's just, it's just Berlin that's kicked off. Looked at my ministers for ages. I felt like you had to manage them a lot more in Empire than you do in... Napoleon, but I think it's, it's maybe just the passage of time. Um, Talleyrand. Mm, yeah, you're not very good at that. You're, you're great. Oh, no, those guys are reasonable replacements, so we'll just leave them in. I never feel like this whole system, like, I mean, the cabinet probably worked all right, but I don't feel like the, the the monarch and that necessarily worked as well as they'd like it to. But I did, I did like, one of the things I did like the fact that I don't think you can do it in Napoleon, like changing government type, but you could change government type in Empire. And boy, oh boy, would I love to see that back and, you know, many layers more, like, in depth. Not talking Victoria 3 levels of, like, political management, but... Yeah, I don't think we've ever had much more. I mean, maybe like the the Rome Roman Senate feature, but that feels very messy and convoluted, to be honest, because it was just kind of feature after feature just tacked on. Uh, so I can't get two of them. Okay, I'll just get the other one. But yeah. I do hope that at some point we do get an Empire 2. Ah, Russia is... Russia's awakened. The Great Bear has heard my mocking. Has heard my questioning. Good, good. I don't just want a straight smash through. I mean, I probably will just smash through their armies, but still. Give me a bit of a challenge, Russia. We'll probably still stick to our plan of, of knocking out Austria and probably going after the Ottomans as well to give us that solid wall of land territory directly under French control to then push into Russia. I don't think we'll probably go with our plan of taking out Spain. I 
when I say plan, I don't think, you know, it's just, it's just like, that's an option of something we could do if we need to. Right. Prussia is back. We only just wiped you out. And this is the thing. The rebellions come back with some very, very strong forces. So I'm glad I actually left these two powerful armies here because we are going to have to shatter them. Good and proper. Aye, aye, aye. Natural causes. Oh, my admiral down here passed away. Um, yeah, I'll pop you in here. You look very old as well. 46. You, I mean, you've clearly seen some stuff, I guess. Right, let's continue uh, sending out those spies. Who can we see over here? So, yeah, the one thing about the Russians is they their infantry are like 100 larger, typically, than most troops. Or I say 100 larger. In Darth Maud, it's not as, as big a gap because you get 360 with most. But their standard troop size is 400. Okay, we can see they've got three full stack armies straight away. This 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 is good. This means it's not going to be a straight walkover. So we might just be able to focus on, largely focus on Russia. So we're going to send Masena to deal with, with Austria. Napoleon will march through here, though. Yeah, we'll take attrition, so I've got to stay in there. Move that army there. Uh, we will, before I forget, though, they could really do with some artillery, but we can't get anything decent in there, so I'll just go for these grenadiers. Westphalian fuse, the Lears. Yeah, let's chuck in some of them, just so we've got a bit more variety, I think. Some of our troops. Better roads. We could pull Trample Bernadotte down, but he won't be able to reach it, so instead we pop him into Danzig. We shuffle Mira. Hmm. We could bring Mira down to hold Warsaw, and then we could chuck this force over here. Okay, so I'm going to have to move you here because I need to see if they've got other armies on the way and what they've got. So we need to, yeah, just kind of form up along our new front and just see what's headed our way possible. I and mean, the only thing we have to do at Berlin is just have to hold down against the rebellions until we um, can get those buildings built. Prussia's down, but they're back already. Ah, Russia. Nice. we we'll break that fleet at some point. We'll take out Sweden as well. Use that actually as a staging ground. Further forces. We'll need quite a few to get through that, though. It's just militia, though. Large forces, though. So, I can go through. Do, 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 do. Okay, we can see some forces up here. A spy will cut a path through. Bring you back to pick up a militia unit from over here. We need these armies marching soon, so we'll just pump out some militia. To hold ground in the meantime. So I say all this and then suddenly one of my staunchest allies will turn against me, probably. Two more turns till the Ordnance Factory is done. Good, good, good. We should be able to get some decent troops from England eventually. Get a few more bits and pieces in there. All right, I think that's all we can do. Are we upgrading Marseille? Marseille could do without being upgraded if we're going to recruit troops from there as well. And this fleet here... I don't think I can see any trade. Oh, I can see a trade line. The Ottomans. So if we were to turn on them, we could go after a teeny tiny ship here. 
That's about it. Okay, pull you back. Masena has marched down. That's good. Well, we've just got to deal with these. I'm going to try to avoid having to fight them if we if we can, I guess, just because we fought plenty of battles against Prussians. I'm prepared to take the uh, rather hefty hit with the order resolve. Although that looks dire. Well, it's got enough skirmishes there. Victory. Oof. They can't do anything else. Um, what we'll do is pull you here now, and then this army can jump on out and see that away. Yeah, bye-bye. Finish them off. Nice. And then send these guys to deal with them there. Bye-bye. Nice. I said Prussia was defeated today. Stay dead. There we go. Finally. And we can actually now exempt them as well. Or unexempt them and get some additional income. Beautiful. Well done. Stay back here for now because I definitely don't trust these guys not to kick off. Um, where was it? We were saying we wanted some artillery, actually. That army over here. So keep going. Right. Let's see what Russia's going to do. Just checking I've moved my spies, actually. Okay. Keep wandering through. That's fine. Good. Right. In the tent. Slowed it down just so I can see where the armies are moving. They're just there. Okay, Napoleon might get to have a challenge against the Russians early on because that is also on a path to finish off the Austrians, which we're going to do first to, to secure our front line now. In this alternate timeline, Napoleon knows that a spearheaded attack straight for Moscow to force them to uh, to give up and sign peace will not work. They will continue fighting on. So what's needed here is a slow but steady sweep conquest from west to east. And absolutely obliterate Russia completely. He also does this because he knows it's the only way to truly survive the uh, Russian winter. If he carves a bloody path directly towards Moscow and gets intercepted at any point or slowed down, he could be trapped with no secure way to retreat. Whereas if he slowly but surely pushes and claims and occupies territory, he'll have... Uh, local territory and support that he can pull back into to more easily and readily replenish his forces. Plus, it means he can already start supplying those regions with fresh forces from Paris and France itself uh, from the start of the campaign. We've gained a new gentleman in your pop. Um, where are those natural resources? Because I just clicked off the thingy. Maybe it's there. I don't know. Can I? Oh, show previous advice. There we go. Thank you. Thanks, Leia. Always a pleasure. All right. Um, yeah, Bernadotte, you can move on down here. Napoleon. Mm, you'll take attrition on that bridge, won't you? Bring the spy down. Okay, we've got the Austrians here. So if we find out the Austrians suddenly have a lot of additional armies. There's a Russian army at Vilnius now as well. You guys are going to go up here. Through Courland towards Estonia as well. Head straight towards Moscow. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I want to march there with Napoleon, but we'll get caught, won't we, if we get caught by all those forces. I mean, Napoleon's army is rather epic, isn't it? Rather great. We've got this army here. Oh, uh, this army here. This spy here. Whoops. You can go straight towards Minsk. I think we're probably safe that we could, yeah, send Napoleon. I'd prefer to keep him on that bridge, but we take attrition. Oh, now I can't reach that. So I'm going to have to take... Okay, we'll see if we draw the Russians. Can they, can they march through here? 
they can. Ooh, Masena might need to cut them off. In fact, Masena can strike through that way. But we're actually going to be sending Masena, looks like. We can send him straight in to take Transylvania. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, and the Russians were getting ready. The Russians were getting ready. How dare they? Um, we attack that army and draw them all out. That could be fun. Technological advance. Carcass shots. So, Liege, you've actually got nothing to research right now, but all we can do is just wait until those buildings are built. We'll send Masena in there in a moment. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Military Academy. I'd rather do that back here. I was also looking at doing it at Britain, wasn't I? More of these military academies that we build as well, the more generals we can field, which means... And I, I say the more support for our armies. Eh, eh, it's fine. It's all good. Yeah, keep bringing you guys over here. Set in. Let's get you some militia. Just so you've got every settlement's got some. And then where are we going to start sending you guys? We'll send Bernadotte up here. Bevo could actually... We could start the attack. But I was planning on kind of holding the line a bit easier. We've got bridges here to sit and hold. Again, while we bide our time. So I guess we just we hold here and see where this army wants to go. It'd be nice to go up to that bridge. There's those two bridges to hold there. And technically, technically, you'd want the third to stop them crossing that way, that they could come round through Minsk. Doesn't really trap them off that well. Um, we'll leave Davo here. Uh, we'll pop him into the farm. We'll pop you guys into Conisberg. if I need to bring that force up a little bit. Ottomans or with Austria and Russia. So they should like the, what I'm about to do here. They won't like what I do afterwards, but <laughs> that'll be on them. We could press the attack with this force if we move Napoleon off the bridge. Get after the Russians. We need two more units. Uh, which is going to be this artillery. Yeah, we'll wait for that artillery to come on in. So what we'll do is we'll pull this army back. I mean, it's it's a it's an interesting army, so the least. And we'll pull Mura here. We'll pop you guys in there to start building up Poland. We've got more Polish legion coming in as well. Good, good, good. Innsbruck. Yeah, we've got the Italians. You're maxed out, right? Oh, no, you can have four of them. And you go, okay, we'll get a full army of them and then we'll bring them in. Have like an army of the empire, perhaps. Quite like that idea. Just you know, afflicting troops from across the whole empire that we've built up. Um, it'll be our new front line. So I'm going to dispatch half immediately to go and sit to help hold here. A spy can keep moving through. Lots of little Ottoman forces over here. That is A-OK. -okay. We've moved all of you guys around. Oh, let's get my navy back. Um, we've not got a port along here. The nearest one's there, so maybe a reason to take. Uh, I can bring them over this way. And we are building some militia. Oh, we're going to get caught going through here. Just have to move through that zone of control to give them an opportunity to decline the attack, which they do. Good, good, good. So bring them up there. And we will open next episode fighting this battle if they don't retreat. Our first clash with the Russians for... I don't know how many episodes it's been. It's been quite a few. It was one of our one of our early episodes around our march towards Vienna. Or was it shortly after we'd secured Vienna? We'll face them again. It looks like they've been marching through the winter, taking attrition themselves. I thought the Russians didn't take winter attrition. Or do they take less, perhaps? 
Uh, it's drawing out the Austrians, which is great. Um, hopefully, we can set up a nice little little trap for them as they come on in. Try and spread our forces up to cut them off from linking on up with the Russians. Not that it'll make too much of a difference, but um, certainly should lead to some spectacular results. So, join us next time. As the Iron Eagle of Prussia has fallen, we now look to the east to face the great Russian bear. Until the next one, hope you've enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.